Hey, this is Chris Menard. PowerPoint has a new feature. This is only for Office 365 subscribers as of now, and it's October 2018. You can now put in animated models into your PowerPoint presentation. So as an example, there is a T-Rex that has been animated, and I had to do nothing to animate it. It came that way. We don't like the T-Rex. There's a shark. So there's plenty of animals and there's plenty of other items that are animated automatically. So let me show you how I did this. PowerPoint, Home tab. I went to New Slide, put in whatever layout you want. I'm going to do a title only. But here's how you get the animated model in. Insert. 3D models have been in PowerPoint for the Office 365 subscription for several months now. But now I notice this month, when you go to Online Sources, the first three in that top row, all animated models, and the second one is animated animals, and the third one is animated for education. So basically the first one has the other two all in it. So I'm gonna just click on Education, scroll through here. The key is you see the person running. I'm gonna go back one time. One more time, online sources. Let's go look at the animals. You can select as many as you want. That is how I put in the T-Rex, and I just simply clicked on insert, and it puts it on the slide by default. So I'm not gonna insert it right now because it takes about 30 seconds to download. I'm gonna just hit cancel. By default, when you put in an animal, it'll say 3D model tools up in the ribbon. I'm going to reset it so it looks exactly the way it looks right now when I put in that T-Rex. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to resize it just a tad. And just a couple cool features after I resize it. By default, the T-Rex is pointing towards me. That's the default view. Now it's running that to the right, overhead, the back, facing left. So you can change whatever view you want right here in 3D model views. I'm gonna go start off with it to the left. And if you don't like the scene that it's using, you can come over to scenes. The T-Rex has five different scenes. I'm gonna select scene two and see what it does. So there's scene two. Let's go try scene three. If I was using scene three, to be honest with you, this is when you might go back and have it the default view. That would probably be better. If you don't like any of the views, you can always manually, I'm gonna go back to it facing left. You can always manually resize it and rotate it yourself. So I'm just dragging around this icon right here in the middle. Let's try just one more scene. How about scene four? There you go. Go back to the shark real quick. Let's change the scene. Let's go to scene one. Looks like just the shark swimming. Change the view. So the T-Rex had five scenes. The shark only has three. I can't control that. All I did is insert. Went and got it. And then from there, it's 3D models. Really, really cool feature. I'm curious about scene two. Well, that's all right. Anyway, new feature, Office 365 only. Also, um, I went to Word and tested it. They still have the 3D models in Word, but they're not animated. So it's only PowerPoint that has the animated ones. Thank you for your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel.